It is time for the annual list of the biggest hacks of 2019, coming up now on ThreatWire. Greetings, I am Shannon Morris and this is ThreatWire for December 24th, 2019. It's Christmas Eve! And this is your summary of the threats to our security, privacy, and internet freedom. This week I am breaking down the biggest hacks of the entire year of 2019, so let's go ahead and get started. With number 10, back in October, customer information for 7.5 million Adobe Creative Cloud users was exposed in a publicly facing database that anyone could access. The data included Adobe member IDs, country of origin, email addresses, used products, last login creation date for the account, subscription status, and payment status as well. However, no credit card payment details were included. The data was originally found by a security researcher in a tech journalist who disclosed the data to Adobe. Adobe patched the exposed data quickly afterwards, and customers were warned that spear phishing attempts may be made based on the data found. Number 9. Up to 1 billion iPhones were found to be vulnerable to potential hacks for two years, including fully updated phones, as discovered by Google's Project Zero team. They found that several hacked websites were being used to target and attack iPhones in a region of China called the Xinjiang State, along with their Uyghur community. Researchers believe that this attack was backed by a state sponsor, most likely being China. It is likely that while this was targeted towards a specific minority population, anyone could have been hacked by these attacks because the sites were indexed in Google search. Devices that simply visited a malicious site could be infected with a monitoring implant. Apple reportedly fixed the issue within 10 days of being notified by Google's team. Number eight is all about Canva, which is an Australian-based graphic design service. They were hit with a hack back in May where 139 million users' data was stolen by a hacker going by Gnostic Players online. The data stolen included usernames, real names, email addresses, and city and country information. Passwords were also stolen for 61 million of those users, but these were hashed with bcrypt. Canva encouraged users to change their passwords anyways just to be safe. Next up, we have AMCA, which is the U.S. Medical Bill and Debt Collector, also known as American Medical Collection Agency, who filed for bankruptcy after dealing with a data breach that affected 20 million U.S. citizens. The hack technically occurred from August 2018 to March of 2019. Data stolen from AMCA clients included Quest Diagnostics, LabCorp, Bioreference Laboratories, Carecentrics, and Sunrise Laboratories, all of which who used AMCA payment portal to bill customers. Now, while the number of affected citizens was relatively small compared to many on this list, the data could be used to steal identities. Stolen information included names, social security numbers, addresses, date of birth, and payment card information. Clients of AMCA ceased relationships with the debt collector after this hack occurred. Now, Facebook, again, hits my top 10 of this year. Two different Amazon cloud servers were found with 540 million Facebook records that had been collected by third-party companies. UpGuard originally found the data earlier in the year in what seemed to be a trove of records collected by Cultural Colectiva, which is a Mexico-based media platform. User account names, Facebook IDs, comments, likes, reactions, and more were leaked. The second data set included user IDs, friends lists, likes, photos, groups, check-ins, user preferences, and 22,000 passwords for a third-party app called At The Pool. Now, Cultural Collectiva did not remove the data until journalists were contacted, while At The Pool took down the data immediately. Almost 1 billion people are affected by a breach to an online marketing company that disappeared soon after. 982 million people were affected in this next one in total. They had their data leaked including names, gender, date of birth, employer, social media account information, and home addresses. The database of data was owned by Verifications.io, which is an email verification company that offered enterprise email validation for other marketing companies. The company would check to make sure email addresses that were harvested were real before being added to a marketing list. The database was taken offline shortly afterwards, but Verifications.io never remarked or responded to public requests for comment. It almost seems as if they just disappeared. Now, number four is all about 
Have I Been Pwned.com and Troy Hunt, who found and was contacted by several researchers who had found a huge treasure trove of email addresses and passwords on a cloud service called Mega. Now, in total, 12,000 separate files were found, amassing 773,000 unique email addresses and another 21.2 million unique passwords. That's a lot. All of these were collected from multiple different leaks of data and seem to have been combined into a very large dump. Now, Hunt was warned that this data could be used in credential stuffing attacks in which an attacker would use a series of leaked data to try and break into other accounts. If users use different passwords for every website that they sign up on, obviously this is not going to be as much of an issue. Number three, <laughs> I can count, 620 million accounts online from 16 different websites had data stolen and put up for sale on the dark web back in February. The affected sites included Dubsmash, MyFitnessPal, MyHeritage, Hotlook, White Pages, 500 Pixels, Photolog, and a few more. The leaked data consisted mostly of usernames, email addresses, and passwords. Now, similar to the leak Troy Hunt posted about, this was a merging of data from 16 different sites. And again, this data could be used in credential stuffing attacks. Since so much data was leaked this year in this way, it is wise to use a password manager and different passwords for every single account that you sign up for, as well as two-factor authentication whenever available. Now on to number two, the credit card company called Capital One was hit with a data breach in July that affected about 100 million U.S. individuals and about 6 million in Canada. Anyone who applied for a Capital One card between 2005 all the way up through 2019 was affected and leaked information included names, addresses, zip and postal codes, phone numbers, email addresses, date of birth, and self-reported income. Some lines of data also included credit scores, transactions, credit limits, balances, payment history, and contact info, along with 140,000 social security numbers and 80,000 linked bank account numbers, plus 1 million social insurance numbers for Canadians. Credit card account numbers and login credentials were not leaked. The criminal in this case was Paige Thompson of Seattle, who was apprehended shortly afterwards. Before I share the biggest hack of the year, I wanted to say thank you so much to my supporters at patreon.com slash threatwire. My hush puppy perk level patrons are awesome for sending in their fur baby photos. I absolutely love them, so make sure to keep them coming. And if you want to support Threatwire, but you don't want to be a Patreon supporter, that's totally cool. I have opened up an online store of Threatwire swag so that you can show off your support. Check out snubsy.com slash shop to get t-shirts, stickers, and even my own digital photography all of which supports my shows. Happy holidays. With the vast amount of data and the kind of data leaked, I made the first American Financial Corp leak number one in my list of biggest hacks of the year. In this case, the real estate title insurance company leaked data on millions of mortgage deals dating back to 2003 before being notified by Krebs on Security in May. The records included bank account numbers and statements, mortgage and tax records, social security numbers, wire transaction receipts, and driver's license images all of which was easily accessible to anyone with a web browser. The First American website exposed about 885 million files, many of which could be used in identity theft. Now, before I leave, I would like to say thank you so much to everyone who supports the show on Patreon. Thank you so much. You are all awesome. And with that, do not forget to like and subscribe. I'm Shannon Morse, and I will see you on the internet. And Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Thank <laughs> you.